Hello and welcome back to Near Craft. We need a name for this ship, by the way. If anybody has any name suggestions. Now, the death games are ongoing. Look at these crazy scores right here. <laughs> Now, to be clear, my score and Dodo's score not going to count for the games because, well, we made the games. And so we're not going to be winning any prizes for them. But now, as the mayor, and as god? If you missed the last video, I don't know what to tell you. Velxa is about to be back on the server, and so that's likely to be a mess. But more pressing is the fact that uh, people are going to be killing one another soon. And I would very much like to get a head start on this, so that I'm not the first one killed. Not that I have a prize to win, I'm the one giving out a prize, but still, as a point of pride. I have... in here? I guess not. I thought I had anvils in here, I thought I'd made myself anvils. I haven't. I think we might go steal some iron from Dodo. <laughs> we might. What do you think, Smickles? You think stealing some iron from Dodo? To be clear, this isn't stealing. Dodo said we could use it if we're going to kill people with it. So I need anvils. I would love some harming potions, and I would love some stalagmite stalactites. Some dripstone. Oh, also, yeah, there's a whole path going from spawn to Dodo's place. And there's this. Which, I don't know what he's doing with this here. But I don't like it. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I'm just going to... Take that. He'll never know. So we have this. I don't actually know where there's dripstone caves. I'm just trying to get my materials together. I also don't know what's needed for a harming potion. Let me look this up while I'm in the sky. Fermented spider eye and potion of poison. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> there's going to be a court case tomorrow. IRL tomorrow. Oh, look at that. Over a stack. That easy. So, the court case is, uh, Kaylee and Ender suing Dodo for crimes against nature, I believe. Fully on their side. Also, look at this, uh, look at this sign real quick that Roxy's made here. Is that not so cool? Look at all these allays, though. My goodness. Should I go find some spiders right now? I have looting. Come here, spidey, spidey, spidey. Oh, look at that. Speak of the spidey. Look at you just spinning around like that. You could have been a ballet dancer if I hadn't... Well, absolutely not. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Wait, that's kind of a beautifully colored chicken, though. You're stunning. Alright, I got 13. That doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. Let me... Good grief. Killed far more chickens than I have spiders. Let me go check my base, though. Okay, that's 15. That's not the worst. It's not very good. <laughs> but it's not the worst. Now, the other thing that we can do that I would love to do later this week is that there is a ancient city directly underneath Sniffershire. And best believe we will be going for a warden. Now, the way to make this work, though, is that we need a name tag. I'm just checking my forms while I chat with you. My very professional... Incre wait, that's actually a lot. Incredibly efficient farm... How did you get over here? Explain yourself. Now, I do, I do need a name tag. I do need a name tag. So I'm actually gonna go... I got a bunch of, um... I got a bunch of sticks from the Aussies. Because if you haven't caught on now... <laughs> the Aussies are crazy rich and you say oh do you have something and they're like oh yeah man i bu uh, i made a farm for that it's uh, day three that's how australians sound and so they gave me all these <laughs> they gave me all of these sticks and so i'm gonna trade these up and get a bunch of emeralds i'll trade that for a name tag or two and we'll get some wardens moving but i do need to prioritize the the harming potion thing right now and then it'll probably be about court case time <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm sorry, I can't take myself seriously in this outfit. It's just every part of it is a very different vibe. Like the hat and the hair and the shirt and the armor and the wings, they're all... It's camp. <laughs> what are you looking at? 
You want to see what I'm going to build there next? I want to see what I'm going to build there next. I can already see it in my mind's eye. It's good. Oh, you don't like it. Fine. Okay, you guys, I'm, I'm setting up the potions right now. I forgot. I had this mod installed that tells me a bunch of stuff. So it looks like we got this for poison right here. And then that plus the spider eye is going to make the damage. Is that what that's telling me? This is going to make a lot of potions. I also did look this up. And it looks like <laughs> this is Gecko's Potions for Kids kit that I got from Secret Santa. Um, it does look... Oh, also, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Velxa did make this mud farm into their face. It looks like these harming potions will do a lot of damage. Uh, is there a lot of wart in here? Oh, thank goodness, because I don't have any. Thank you, Gecko, for all the materials necessary to murder. Wow, this is really me offering a prize. And then I'm going around and making sure that people can't have it by killing them. That's a little cruel, isn't it? All right, let's make some anvils. Okay, nice. Look at that. Ba-boom. And then we can start putting these potions into here. Good, good. Now make them blow up. I do think I'll, I'll keep this last set on me, I think. All right, these are gonna stay on my person, as will this. Now let's go gather up some name tags and trade for some emeralds to collect some wardens later on. Again, this will probably happen after the court case, but you've been forewarned. <laughs> so, the court case did not actually end up happening because we showed up for the court case and the defendant had to leave last minute. But we got up to some death games mischief anyways. These next clips that you're about to see are excerpts from a live stream that I did, so if you want to see the full thing, you're welcome to check out the live stream. It'll be linked in the description. Roll the clips. Goodbye. Take a big hole right where he left. <laughs> where he was? I'm very tempted. <laughs> he was right it there. It was like right here, right? <laughs> Can we actually, though? Because I have a ton of dripstone on me. I, I know I'm not supposed to, but the I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> the temptation to throw splash potions down there is overwhelming. Guys, I'm almost at two million. Two million, like your score? Yeah, look at it. It just crossed. Oh, nicely done. Hey. Damn it. <laughs> you didn't see that. You didn't see that. <laughs> it was a good try. It was a good try. I. How many hearts did it take? It only took like three. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, this would probably kill Dodo. This would more than likely kill Dodo. So I feel like I should pop in here and let you know what's going on because Belxa has this weird thing going on with the moon, and so we decided that they would be a good target for the Warden, and so we named the Warden Moon's Revenge. And <laughs> had an awful time arranging a bubble column for it to go to the surface, where we plan to put it inside of Velxa's bee church at spawn. Just watch this absolute mess. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Does anybody have wood? How I much know. wood? How much? I, I just need a few signs. That's it. Girl, your bubbles didn't go all the way up, by the way. What do you mean? Like, they're not all the way up. They went about halfway, and then about where it, like, you dropped off to one, it stopped. But it stopped bone mealing. But it didn't go up. What does it mean? Oh, no. Really? I threw bone meal into the bubble column and it went up. I'll get it. <laughs> Wait, no, there's no Bro bubbles. Where'd all your bubbles go? I killed them. Rose is like... Here you go. Rose is doing all the things. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I need to not be in charge of this project. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no! <laughs> Oh 
Okay, so we're gonna well, come down the long way. Yeah, oh, you can't drown if you are in the bubble column. But it's not up here anymore. No. I can't tell which way's up and which way's down <laughs> at this point. I've made it to the surface, I'm coming back down. God, I'm getting hungry. Oh, that was... Well, okay. I hope you can suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Oh, my God. oh, I'm already running. Oh, you already left? Yeah, I'm already running. Kaylee's just out. <laughs> Kaylee, come back. I'm scared. No, I'm more scared. <laughs> Which way do I even have to go to get back? That's oh. what I'm trying to figure out also. Oh, oh hello. Whew. It's been named. Where do we... How do we get out? How do we get... I don't know how to get back. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Monstrous beast perceives with wrath. I don't think he fits. I'm scared. No, is he... Is he too tall? Uh, Did we make it too short? Oh, oh he's coming. Oh, he's coming? I did dig out an extra hot block for the height. Thank you so much. Please tell me you know where you're going, I found Bradley. it! Yeah. Okay, I, I found where, um, do you guys want the coordinates for the bubble theater? Yes. I, I know where I'm going. Oh no, I'm lost. Anyone have eyes on the moon's revenge? Ouch! Oh. oh. He's stuck. Oh, oh he's I coming. Moving. He's coming. Ooh! Ooh! Are you okay? <laughs> oh, he does How's not like you. Oh, we're fine. Oh, he's here. Ow! Oh! Oh! That was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> I think you might want to go up. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, it's running after you. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so <laughs> I just shaky. zoomed past Take the door me. again. Okay, <laughs> can we try to lead it like down the hill and then right up the hill into the cathedral instead of like back and forth past the door? Loop around the uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can do this. Pancake's doing the most, right? Yeah, Pancake <laughs> is... <laughs> MVP. For real. Are you okay? Okay, I think it's I think it's gonna come through. I think it's got to. Okay, we need to block it in. Okay. Is it through? <laughs> okay, come on. Oh it's in. Oh no! no. Okay. Oh no. just in time. Okay, is the front blocked off? Yes, yes. So yes, we put a warden <laughs> inside of Velx's bee church. With the hopes that it would kill one of the people. We also dug out that pit underneath of Dodo, hoping that when he logged on next, he would be, you know, falling to his death. And I also uh, failed to kill Rose once with potions, and then I put some potions under her door, and that didn't work either. She walked right past them, they didn't even touch her. But in the meantime, I have to build something for my cows, because my cows have been living in my backyard for a long time with absolutely nowhere to be. I'm also going to be culling the cows. <laughs> I only want Highland cows in my cow cow cathedral. And I have a texture pack that will allow me to see a bunch of different cow types. I'm going to get rid of the ones that aren't Highland cows because I know what cows I want. We did build the majority of this cow cathedral in a live stream, so if you would like to uh, see any of that in the future firsthand, tune in. Now let's get into this time lapse. Roll it. To kick this build off, I'm just doing a little bit of landscaping to set us up with a nice place to build, and then creating an outline and palette so I know where I'm starting. And then I'm going through and creating a stone outline. I want to make a ruin, so I'm just getting an idea of what this place might have looked like before, before I go back in and begin to tear it down, giving shape to what it's going to look like now, a little bit more set into the landscape with some bits of it scattered around it as well. And then I'm going through with texturing. I tried a few different things here, which you can see if you want to go check out the live stream. But I decided to go for some dark patches and then some green patches. 
I tried to use as many blocks as I possibly could, and I made this goal of not wanting to have any stone in the build. It's gonna look like it's made out of stone, but there won't actually be stone in it. Everything is going to be replaced. And after I got a good bit of the coloring done, I went in and started adding a bunch of detail blocks. Walls and stairs and slabs just to give it a little bit more shape. You're going to see the finished product with the cows in it a little bit further into the video. While I'm moving these cows, I should fill you in on the fact that shortly after the cathedral was finished and the cows were moved in, Velxa returned to the server, none too happy that I had declared myself mayor of Spawn. So Velxa and Valifrax, Minister of Finance, called me to Spawn for a meeting about a treaty. Hello. Well, hello. Now, um, we understand you've done some bad things. I... have been a lot of piracy. I don't understand anything of the sort. Now listen, we've got some terms for you to look over. I'll explain a bit more. Some terms? Okay. Pirates are to be pardoned of previous crimes, be allowed back into Sniffershire. The pirates must not vandalize Sniffershire. In exchange, the pirate will be able to plunder those that are not under the Shire. Bradley is to be made Deputy Minister of Money. Interesting. Why, why would I want to be Deputy Minister of Money if I'm the mayor? See, this is what I was talking about. This is the problem that I knew would get in the way. He, won't, he thinks he's the mayor when he's clearly- This is a more powerful position, my friend. I think being get in control the of the world is more the powerful. The world is money. The world is money. Sniffershire and Honey Hills aren't the entire world. No, but I have to start somewhere, you know? What I do have, which I actually am not going to pull out of there because I don't want you to steal it, is a, a notarized form from Rose detailing the way that this government works, which you haven't really been conforming to, have you, Velxa? Well, so, it's not exactly like I've been informed on that. I didn't even know that existed. So that's more on Rose's part because that's something she should have done when the transition was made. You're so right, and we, we should kill the cactus. Um, but more pressingly is the fact that you're in my town hall? Um, since when is this your town? I, since I won the election, of course. This could be great character building for you. Um, great character building for you could be, uh, your head coming off of your shoulders. I, I tend to disagree. What I believe is, is this. From, from my great pirate ship in the sky, I have been declared a god by the people, and and as a god, I shall I shall have no choice but to rule the world, and it begins I think here. We should make a position called Minister of God and give it to Bradley. Oh, if that's above Mayor, absolutely, sign me up. Listen, we 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 tried to come here with a peace offer, offering. We tried to be reasonable. I mean, imagine imagine if you were the mayor of Sniffershire, and I came in and I was like, I, as the mayor, I demand that you, like, quit your position as mayor. That that's was, exactly what's happening right it now. It would be a little strange. Okay, if you, don't, if you don't agree to that, we will have to take legal force. I would love to know what happens when someone tries to kill a god. I think we've offered fair terms, and it's not on him to accept, then it's not, he's not going to accept. Yeah. I don't have my sword on me, sorry. Well, Go ahead, make me a martyr. The says it. <sighs> this is the first resurrection of bread. Did you enjoy that glimpse into the void? That was... The so the God. that was so cute. It almost tickled. As as the ruler of the world and God and also the whoa, mayor. Whoa, whoa. 
<laughs> you look so good. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say so. But anyways, okay, as God, I declare Belksa mayor. I don't look good with mandibles. Oh, it's you... just your little chin bits are really distracting it's... me right now. Dang it. Here, let me here. Let me just um, there we go. Okay, that's better. Th continue, continue. <laughs> Basically, Belksa is mayor, and anything they say goes. Huh. It, this is like having a little mini me. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> this is this is this is a really cute meeting today. Um, I I guess I'll see you around. Um, maybe every once in a while I'll be able to call you to my ship and, um, I'll give you, I'll give you a little, a little bit of, of godly purpose. Um, great talk. I'm gonna have to go tell my follower that you tried to kill me. Velxa thinks that they can scare me out of Sniffershire. They can't. They can't. Because, like I said, Sniffershire is only the beginning. Because I am a god and a god can't stop at one silly little town i have to take over everything and so we will this is only a minor setback and wanted posters being put up for me and ender and gecko is also only a minor setback now we'll have to do something about most of that in another episode because right now the death games are still ongoing they may go into the next episode as well but i've not managed to successfully kill anybody Dodo posted this picture in the Discord, uh -huh. because our trap failed to kill him as well. Velxa came back online and killed the warden without any casualties. Everything has failed. I can't end the video until I've killed someone. I just can't do it. So, mission, murder. Now there is one more thing that I want to do before I get to too much murder. And here we have a B flag. <laughs> <laughs> this might change. I was thinking about like trying to put a like an eye patch on it, like a pirate, like a bee pirate, but I don't actually know how to really make that work well. Uh, so this may be tweaked in the future. But I just really enjoy the confusion of like Velxa is one of the beeple, and what if we are the bee pirates and we're like, oh, why do you hate the bees, Velxa? Because we are also the bees. Beautiful, don't you agree? Anyways, time to get back to murder, yeah? Murder, murder. Oh, just don't, like... Oh, you're logging off me. over here? Yeah, I won't trap you. Yeah. I won't do that. Okay. Yeah. And leave my... Do not harm my horse. I won't touch your horse. And I'm going to stand right over here and log off. Okay, yeah. So yeah. do not, and I repeat, do not kill me, especially because... Oh, what a nice hat. You wouldn't want to lose I have, that. Yes, I have very nice hats. Oh, you have a lot of them. That I would not, I would not like to lose. No, you gotta keep those. And this nifty badge I just got for being the chief of police. Oh, I see. That yeah. that's a great achievement. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, yeah. Also, I do have this pirate bandana hat. What do you think? Do you like it? I think you, you would fit right in. You'd fit right in. You could be the parrot yeah. on the mast. You do, you do like it? I do like it. I think it's really, um, That's it's really great. stylish. That is great to hear. Yeah. Oh, and I also have 53 diamonds on me. So I would hate to lose all that. Oh, no, you don't, you don't want to lose that. Yeah. No. See? That's yeah. a lot of diamonds. That is a lot of yeah. diamonds. Yeah, so. Yeah. Gotta keep those safe. Now that you've seen them, you can mm -hmm. give them back. I could. I'm just gonna log off here. I'm gonna trust that when when I log back on, yeah, that you'll have given them back. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. You too. have a great night. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Can you come over to my place? Because Dodo just came over here and made a big show of burning pirate stuff and then uh, was like, oh, I'm logging out for the night and I do want to murder him. I'm afraid you're going to murder me. This I do want to murder you, but... But you want to murder Dodo. First. I want to Dodo... Well, okay, we had a, we had a little uh, agreement that maybe at the end of the game I could kill you if you haven't died. Right. right. Does that still stand? Oh, yeah. 
yeah, totally. Okay, I see. I'm content with that. I tried murdering yeah. you. I did bad. <laughs> you um. and Haley both. <laughs> See, I was I was already going to bring you over here though, because I wanted to kill Gecko, and I was wondering if you could help me. Oh my God, yeah. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do it though. Okay, like I've gathered stuff. Yeah. If you can follow, me. I, I I realize now that saying "Can you follow me?" This sounds is like so actually sketchy. very suspicious. It's very suspicious. <laughs> What um, are you showing me down there? I need you to be exact. Yeah, I do have a murder room. I do have a murder okay. room with my murder supplies. Um, okay. And I realized... That's very normal. <laughs> That's very normal. Very cool. I, I put a murder room under my castle so that on the dine map, it'll look like I'm just in my castle if people look at where I am. Oh my god. Um, I know that that sounds really sketchy, but I did put Smiggles in the murder room. And I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna murder Smiggles. <laughs> But also, have you okay, seen? Have you seen? First. Yeah, I'll go first. But have you seen my cathedral? No, I have not. You want to come see amazing. my cathedral? Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> but they have, I think, a really nice home for cows. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, this is probably the sketchiest thing I think you've ever done. What the murder room? <laughs> just, source, just trust me, bro. Have you been down here before, though? This is not the murder room. This is just where I keep my villagers. Can you close up the door behind you? <laughs> I just Rose, didn't want them in my in my me. business you need anymore. To close the door. <laughs> okay, but well, the, there's nothing here. It's just villagers. And cookies. And cookies. That's and cookies. right. I looked in your bin. Whoa. <laughs> Privacy, but okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come, come in. <laughs> this, it's just dirt. I promise. I know it's sketchy. I know. Wait, this is the wrong one. Hang on. I'm trying to remember where I put my murder room. <laughs> is the moss indicative of the pathway? Um, no, that's just my landscaping. We're just like one block below my castle. How do you plan to bring people here to your murder room? I'm not murdering people in the murder room. This is where I'm planning oh. the murder. You see, oh, I, see. I have the bee I head, bee. so I can just think about murder, and that's yeah. that's just it. And Smiggles. Hi, Smiggles. And Smiggles. Yeah, so this is a mess. <laughs> but I do... <laughs> I, I do have a bunch of anvils. I do have stalactites. I do have... Um, a potion set up above Velx's face. I just don't know what the best approach for um, for Gecko is. Is there anything you can do with like sand falling? I mean, for you sure. Know? Like yeah. if if you create some kind of false bottom, it can't be lava because that would destroy objects then maybe like splash potions because you can make splash potions work through walls like it can be it can be completely hidden oh thanks damn it <laughs> you just kill yourself <laughs> that would have been funny if you killed yourself oh, i'm really close i was on one heart that was pretty <laughs> You took more damage than I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, that was good. Oh Where my god. They? they all went off and they didn't even kill me? Oh, because I was in the corner. <laughs> how so, did I, I not that, die? I don't know that these are the move. <laughs> yeah, so clearly this is not working out. <laughs> <laughs> did you record that this time? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Rose, there were there were twenty-four level two splash potions of harming. <laughs> oh, that was a good try. Is well, this where you activate the lever and we like dropped <laughs> <laughs> Trap number two. I wish I had that foresight. I was really sure that this would work. <laughs> it was a good try. It was I could <laughs> I like how this whole thing is just with you guys, like, trying <laughs> to kill me. Uh, so, that wasn't that wasn't actually Smiggles. I made a fake Smiggles. Smiggles Oh, fine. that was fake Smiggles? That was fake Smiggles. Okay. I'm gonna take this bee, and I'm not coming back to the murder room. 
<laughs> but we should go try to kill people for real. For realsies. For Are you going to try to kill me this time for trying to kill while trying to kill people? No, I don't. I don't have anything else up my sleeve. I wish I did. Mm -hmm. Should I start trying to kill people? I feel like I might be better at it. <laughs> <laughs> I am learning that I have no skill in this whatsoever. Yeah, that was almost good. It was almost good. <laughs> Do you just wish I was a little bit more to the left? <sighs> yeah, probably, but clearly that still wouldn't have worked. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was wearing no armor. <laughs> you were wearing no armor. I like how all the guys are like, yeah, you can just do like, uh, like a little thing. That's what they say. They tell me a couple splash potions will take out a player in netherite. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now I activate trap two. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this might be deep enough. <laughs> Are you sure? This is far enough for someone without any armor? <laughs> this should do it. He literally came over here and was like, I can tell. This guy needs a win. <laughs> Careful, like, jumping at it because you'll take damage. I'm fine. It dies. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just... What if you just what? <laughs> it would be funny to drop potions of harmony down there right now. <laughs> and then that actually works. That actually works. Yeah, go right. Stand right here. Yeah, I'll stand, stand right, right here. Right here on the edge. And I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a lot of chickens. I see them on my mini map. Oh, you do? Yeah. There's more? <laughs> There's... But I just called them all. There's quite a few up here. Have you seen this? Oh, good lord! <laughs> okay, I think I think we got them all. I think they're dead? Question mark. I hope so. For now, they're dead today. Give it 24 hours. And that is all of the time we have today. We have a beautiful home for the cows now. And yes, the trap. It killed Dodo. I finally done something right. And it, yes, it was it was entirely because Dodo allowed me to do that and gave me that win. But you know what? I'll take it because clearly I can't fight or kill people. It's <laughs> it's not a skill of mine. It's not a skill I have. And besides, I can't even win these death games anyways. I was just killing people to try to not let them win the prize that I'm going to give them for not dying. Make that make sense. But anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed this episode. The Death Games will be concluding in the next one and we'll be getting started on some more beautiful builds. If you made it this far into the video and you're still watching, comment something about my pigs below because I need a building for the pigs and I don't know what it should be. Make a comment for the pigs. Also here are my beautiful cows. I allowed a couple other types of cows to remain because I really like this albino cow. I like this buttery cow, but the rest, are these beautiful highland cows like look at these little cuties they're adorable and a real quick tour around the cow cathedral we have these dark sections we have the green sections we also have a lot of coral up here where it looks like the the stone is kind of falling apart i also left this in I don't think I like it and I think I'll remove it, but I did toy around with this. And then I also have these lighter bits up at the top. You can see another one right here. I was imagining this is almost like sun bleaching. Like the stone has gotten really worn through and so there's lighter colors there. But yeah, you know, I got a different palette for the dark part, different palette for the white part, and different palette for the green part. And I think it works together really, really nicely. I'm quite happy with this and quite happy what it means for the future of this landscape because I feel like this section here really set the tone for what the rest of this base is going to be. This here, I mean, it's just, it's quite beautiful. I'm really, really obsessed with how this looks and feels. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to consider giving it a little share and a like and a subscribe, 
and stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.